Hi, good evening friends. This is Nurla with you all. Uh, today I would like to give you a couple of uh, small uh, tip in Microsoft Excel, which would be of use for your day-to-day, -day, you know, Excel usage and uh, make your life easy as well. Uh, this is a shortcut. Let's assume that you have a situation wherein you have to make a table, very simple table like this with multiple columns, with column heads, but you need the same table format to be replicated. The same table format in let's say 12 sheets because you are doing the same sheet for 12 months in this example. Yeah, Jan, Feb, March. <coughs> okay, so basically let's assume you have this uh, table format. All right, I'll make it a small so that you will a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, all right. Now, if you want this table to be replicated for all 12 sheets with the same column heads, what you normally do, you will type the whole column heads in one sheet and you copy paste the column heads to uh, each sheet. Go to each sheet and paste the copied column head once you type from the sheet number one, which is sheet Jan. <coughs> Instead of doing this, there is a very simple shortcut. As long as the table format the structure and the structure is the same for all the sheets what you can do is simply you can select <coughs> jan until december how you can do hold shift <coughs> and click december when the cursor is already in january see the whole sheets are selected from jan to december <coughs> what i mentioned is this area uh, i mean uh, Sorry, this come this this uh, month uh, sheets all are selected, and you are seeing this. All right. <clears throat> now, after selecting this, go here and start typing. For example, you know, um, let's say file number, uh, employee name, date of birth, okay, <coughs> nationality, then joining date. Just example, yeah, and uh, Emirates EID number, passport number, destination, okay, then uh, any other details, for example, um, <coughs> leave start date, leave in date, total leave days, just an example. See, now you type in single sheet all these things, right? That's it. So now you unselect. Now the, all the sheets are selected. You just unselect. How you unselect? Go here, put the cursor somewhere and click again. The Jan or simply use uh, escape key and click December or January. See now, if you see all, uh, if you go and see all the sheets and it is whatever you typed in the January you know, it is typed in all the sheets. It's a very easy and simple shortcut that will make your life very easier. When you type the column heads with the same identical and uh, exactly same similar uh, table format. And if you type the column heads, you can simply select the sheets and start typing in one table all the column heads, which is actually being replicated in all the sheets of the Excel file. This is number one. <coughs> number two is I will tell you what, let's assume you have an employees list or you have your, uh, you know, list of people and you have their date of birth and what you need to know, see, because in companies, sometimes the HR department, they used to, uh, you know, um, uh, be reminded on the date of birth of employees so that they can send the birthday wishes from HR department or from, you know, <coughs> the corporate uh, supporting services or communication department something like that for them for that you know they may need to know the company may need to know which exactly the weekday their date of birth falls in perhaps if it falls in a weekend like saturday sunday <clears throat> they need to send the wishes accordingly they have to make the arrangements in logistics part so <clears throat> in nutshell how do you bring the day corresponding day associated with a certain date of birth very simple. There is a simple formula is equal to 
okay first i will make it little bigger let me just close it make it bigger so that you will see it bigger okay is equal to text okay select this date comma and open double quotes simply type d d or capital or small d d t d and close double quotes close parenthesis that's it what you are telling text a2 in the text a2 date is there and you want the date to be returned in this cell b as a day format that's why you put in within double quotes d d d d if you click enter see it is friday april 11th of april 1997 is a friday and you can replicate to all see all of these uh, day days are visible now